Hello, my friends. It's Carl Smith, your international hypnotist and coach. And we're going through question number six on 254 questions and answers of practical hypnotism by Emil Franchel. Don't forget, ladies and gents, this book was done in 1957. So I'm just going to make sure that we bring it up to date. And we're just all we're doing is just changing around some of the things. Now we look at modern day hypnosis and the constraints that, that Emil went through compared to what I would have are completely different. So it may have changed just for that very reason. So we're looking at it now. So the question is, oh, and by the way, folks, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. And also, if you want to learn hypnosis, have a look at that link there or that link there. QR code it. The question is, is an intelligent person a difficult subject? Emil answered the question. It seems you have drawn a line between high IQ and intelligence somewhere. But the answer would be the same as the previous question. And if you haven't seen question number five, go back to it. I haven't noticed any difference. That's what he puts. Does intelligence play a role in being hypnotized? And does and is it an intelligent person a difficult subject? Anybody can be a difficult subject. Like I mentioned in the last video, some people come to us because they want to pay the money to say to people, oh, I went to hypnosis, I went to a counsellor, I went to a spiritual healer, I did all this, that and the other, and it didn't work. And it's an excuse for them to continue their bad behaviour because they don't want to change. So that's one way that you've got to look at it, is that some people just don't want to change. The other thing as well is, is that your pre-talk, you may not have told the person quite clearly and demonstrated what you're going to do. So they may have a little bit of resistance into what you're doing there. It's got nothing to do with their IQ. It's got nothing to do with their intelligence. It's all to do with whether they want it or not, okay? There are some people out there with medical conditions, I would strongly suggest, that probably can't hold the focus, okay? But all we need for hypnosis, don't forget, is belief and expectation and a little bit of focus, and that's all we need. And anyone that can hold all of those threes are really good hypnosis subjects, irrespective of what you think, all right? And the reason we know that is because you look at advertising all day long. My friends, I hope you've been, you're enjoying this stream. If you are, don't forget, like and comment. And don't forget, if you want to learn more, the link's below or have a look at the QR code just there. And you can come along and learn lots and lots of more hypnosis hints and tips with me and get certified. My friends, take care. And don't forget, go out there and go practice, 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 practice. And when you finish practicing, go practice some more. 254 questions and answers with Emil Franchel with Carl Smith. Look forward to your next video. Take care.